The ongoing saga over policing in Surrey has taken another turn, with Mayor Brenda Locke calling BC Solicitor General a bully and a misogynist during a dramatic news conference on Monday. I have worked in politics for a long time. I have worked in the liquor industry for a long time. I have never, ever used the gender card. But in this case, I absolutely think there is misogyny going on, no doubt in my mind. The conference came hours after Mike Farnworth, the province's Solicitor General and Public Safety Minister, suggested the city was playing games, saying in a statement that despite multiple requests, his office still hadn't received the report council used when it voted to keep the RCMP over the Surrey Police Service last week. He added the city had until Monday afternoon to hand it over or else he'll determine what's necessary for safe and effective policing without it. I actually find it... Uh fear-mongering on behalf of both the Premier and the Solicitor that he would go out with those uh, kind of statements. Until he gets his way, he will continue to put up roadblocks and change the goalposts every step of the way, and that's what he did again today. In April, Farnworth recommended the city continue its transition from the RCMP to the Surrey Police Service. Locke, who says Farnworth hasn't communicated with her directly since council's vote, says the report hasn't been provided because Farnworth's staff haven't signed non-disclosure agreements. It falls into the category of uh, shocked but not surprised that we see more fireworks in the uh, ongoing debate between the province and, and the city of Surrey over the direction of policing in, in that community. Stewart Pressed says Farnworth's comments and the ultimatum seem like a shift in communication by the province. What we may see here is uh, uh, Minister Farnworth starting to lay the groundwork work, work for taking that, that decision at the provincial level and overriding local decision making and creating a justification for, for doing so in, in the lack of a, a sufficiently robust report from the city. So I think that's what we're seeing here, but time will tell. Farnworth's deadline for the report came and went, and it's still not clear what's next. City News reached out to his office after Locke's news conference but did not hear back by broadcast deadline. He has been a bully all the way through this and this is just another example of that. That's what happened today. In Surrey, Monica Gould, City News.